Hey guys, so I've had this uh, system uh, with the electrolytic cell running for about a day and a half and I thought this would be, this is just so incredible, I, I kind of have to show you guys how well this is working. So what I did is I took one of the stainless steel plates and just used a little sharp blade uh, to make a little, um, kind of get the copper started. And the copper is actually um, peeling off in, um, in a sheet like this, it's just absolutely absolutely incredible how um, how well stuck the copper is or, or you know how well plated together it is and look how smooth it is on that side this side you've got a little bit of a kind of a rough feel and you can see if I do that there's actually some of it coming off but I reckon if you just go uh, once per day and you can actually peel the sheet off like this you'll get the copper in a very nice form to continue melting and um, yeah, and then just put the stainless steel back and let the system keep going. So this this also gives you some idea of how much copper is actually coming off of those anodes every day. Okay guys, so I've uh, peeled off all of the copper that I can from uh, the stainless steel plates and had a quick weigh up and looks like it's about 300 grams, which is actually um, quite a bit more than I was expecting, but that's quite nice. If this is actually consistent, then that suggests that we should be able to get rid of the one and a half kilos of copper probably in, in five or six days or so. Uh, so yeah, that's um, turned out really well. I just want to take a bit of an opportunity to say a big thank you to uh, user the fourth TUXZT. Um, he's the one that suggested that you could um, you know use a blade to loosen the copper sheet from the stainless steel and then just peel it off in one. I would have never even thought for a minute that that would be uh, would be possible to get kind of nice clean copper sheets like this. It's actually um, fairly impressive how thick some of these uh, copper plated bits are. I think we're going to struggle to focus on that but that's probably a lot of that's probably over a millimeter thick. It's um, you can see I kind of struggled to get bits like that off and they it's quite um, I guess it's pure copper so it's supposed to be quite ductile but it's uh, yeah, very interesting. Some of the, uh, for some reason, the, the tops, the tops of the sheets are a lot thinner. That's that's probably only a quarter of a millimeter or something like that than the bottoms, which are closer to a millimeter. But um, either way, that works really nice. The other cool thing I thought I'd quickly show you guys. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Is um, that little that anode that was uh, cast into the steel that um, had all the bubbles and that kind of stuff. That has, as you can see. There, let me just get rid of most of the solution from that so we don't waste the solution. That has actually, as you guys can see there, it's actually um, kind of um, the bubbles were where it was closest to the actual stainless steel, so they've been completely you know, eaten away for lack of a better uh, transferred away. So it's, uh, yeah, definitely working fairly well. And then the other thing that would be lovely to show you guys, but might be a bit difficult, is we're definitely um, accumulating some of the slimes in there. I'm just going to take one of these uh, light bulbs that I'm using, see if I can actually use it to illuminate down the bottom a little bit. It's not, not working that great, but if you guys look in the bottom there, you can clearly see the, uh, the black stuff accumulating. That... Um, that black stuff is the uh, the actual slimes that we're after and what I basically did is as soon as I finished cleaning the stainless steel plates I just grabbed the copper just bashed them against the side a little bit without spilling the solution and when I do that I can actually see the um, see the black slime kind of dislodging itself from there and uh, dropping to the bottom which is really cool now I uh, peeled that copper off about an hour or so ago and as you can see there we've already started, that was clean stainless, we've already started growing the uh, the next copper so um, yeah that's looking great, I'm uh, absolutely amazed at how well this uh, experiment is going at this point so um, yeah stay tuned and hopefully in a week or so uh, I'll be able to um, process the slimes and we'll see what kind of gold we can get out of those anodes. Anyway, that's uh, just a quick update. See you guys later.